everyone so uh this will be my first youtube video on junk journaling um so i'm just gonna jump right into it and do the explaining later but um this is just uh kind of a preview of it i'm not completely finished i still have three other planets to do but it is almost there so this one's i'm like right in the middle of but this one is neptune so uh what I like about this one is it has this little button and it's like a little trifold, uh, like so. Uh, and then it tucks right back under that little button and it doesn't bend it or cause any damage to it and it stays the same, which you gotta love. Um, then we got this little envelope with this really beautiful button. Um, it goes right in there. And I still just gotta finish this page, so that's all that needs to be done on this page. And then I got three other planets to do, which I will upload the finished product of this. Um, also, another reminder is these pages will be glued together like so. Um, so, yeah. All right, so the first one is Earth. So I got these like little tags in a, a kit that was a solar system mobile, but it was just so cute that I had to incorporate it into this. And then I also found a semi vintage um sticker set it is like uh late 80s early 90s but um it had these cute little uh this was actually part of the front of the book so it's a little bit sturdier but i put some leaves right there and i think that's absolutely gorgeous you can write draw put pictures whatever you wish to and it goes right into this belly band that is made actually from the cover of this book so it's awesome <laughs> I also here let's get a zoom in on these have the these uh, leaves that I got from my house that I mod podge and put on there and I love just little pieces of ephemera like this and just just like those little touches is just awesome then we got a little tag right here and so let's move on to the next page, which is Mars. So Mars, this one's my, one of my favorites, mostly because of the detail and the hard effort I really put into it because I hand drew the Mars rover called Curiosity. I mean, I think it's called Curiosity, don't quote me on that. Um, but here is the picture from uh, the vintage book, uh, sticker book I got. And so we got the ribbon and these nice corner cuts, which are absolutely beautiful. And I have them throughout my whole book, just because of how I just like that little touch to them. Uh, we got our little Mars tag right here with a, uh, just a plain back right here, but you can, you know, write or put a, even a photo right here, or whatever you wish to. Then we got this trifold. It's not really a trifold. It's actually held together by ribbon, but it's still a threefold um, piece of paper that goes in right here. With also, oh, I gotta do that. The sticker from the sticker book um, that I got. Uh, the next page is Saturn. So the Saturn's really pretty. Um, so I really thought this like page right here looked pretty like blank, I guess you could say. Um, so I put like what it looked like the galaxy seeping through onto the page right there. I thought it looked cool. So I got this little trifold uh, Saturn piece. I love, absolutely love how it turned out. Um, you can really see like the scratches and all that. I think it, the scratches is what makes it unique and just makes it that much more special. But it's a little trifold, so you can put pictures, whatever you wish to, in there. And what I like about this one too is I made it so nothing was see through. Like it's still 3D, but it's, you can put your hand in there and you won't see your hand. Um, so, like I said, I was using that mobile, uh, the, the uh, Planet Mobile. Well, this is part of it, and it was so big, 
and bulky. I'm like, what am I going to do with this? You know, especially since I'm making a traveler size book. So I decided to just make it a belly band. Um, so we got this little beautiful, uh, this one's a little bit more dainty, daintier, I guess you could say a little bit more, uh, less thicker than that one that you can, I would pro- probably just put writing or whatever on, um, oops, like so. And I really like how the corners just meet, like how beautiful is that? Um, and then we just have like a kind of like a plain Jane little slip here for writing pictures, whatever you wish to put in the book. Um, all right. So there's that. And then next is Mercury. So Mercury is actually, I guess, really crackly and really rocky, you know. So I decided to incorporate that. So we gotta look at our little, my little tag right here, Mercury tag. I mean, it looks like a child colored it in, but I did my best. Um, and it has that crackly background to it, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, so what's unique about this one is I kind of cut the shape kind of like the rock, not exactly like the rock, but sort of like the rock and its general shape. And then we have this twofold um, rocky one and I made it just a little bit off. So it just gave that much depth into like the rockiness right here. This darn thing can get in there. Um, I also made a little pocket right in here. Um, this did have a, like a piece of um, sticker that said Mercury on it. But then you got that. And that just slides right back into here. And it's pretty tight squeeze. I didn't intend for it to be this tight of a squeeze. But it's, you know, more things you can just put in is how I see it. Um, we also have, this one's part of my, oh, there's some Mercury sticker. I don't know how it got there, but we'll just stick it right here. I'll probably end up gluing it down. But we got this. Uh, I made this bow by hand out of paper. And let me tell you, that is difficult. Um, it may not seem difficult when you're like, oh, that looks like a piece of cake, you know. But it is. Um, and that just slides right into here. And I did the same technique that I did with this one. Made it just slightly like the mountain or like the rockiness. Um, but that is pretty much all for this book so far. I got three planets to do, um, which is the moon, the sun, and Pluto. But, and I also had to put a background right here. This would be the first page you go onto. I gotta sew it in to the spine. Um, definitely a work in progress but i you know for the last couple this is like my progress for two days straight um kind of obsessed uh but i also have kiddos so if i i mean if i didn't have my kiddos occupying me a lot i probably would get a lot more done but that's okay because i love my kids um but this is this is the reason why i'm you know releasing this video and not waiting until I'm done with the book is I kind of just want to test the waters with how good my sound is, quality, all of that, um, the lighting. I mean, everything looks good on my perspective, but I just want to see if it's good on your guys' perspective. Um, if you could like and comment and subscribe, that'd be awesome. You know, comment down below uh, any suggestions to do with this book or if you really like this book because I'm... I don't know if I really want to sell it on Etsy or not, um, or do a trade, but I don't know. I just, I really love this book, <laughs> and um, it's one of my very first ones, so uh, yeah, but if you could do those three things for me, that would be great, and I would plan on making my next video. Thank you, and please watch my next video.